However, this convenience comes with a potential downside. Basically, the risk of spyware infiltrating our devices and compromising our privacy. While iPhones are widely known for their great security measures, they are not exactly immune to spyware. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to easily find and remove spyware from your phone. Nowadays, our smartphones have become such an important part of our daily lives as they store an actual wealth of personal information and tools to help us with whatever we're doing. However, this convenience comes with a potential downside. Basically, the risk of spyware infiltrating our devices and compromising our privacy. While iPhones are widely known for their great security measures, they are not exactly immune to spyware. And so in this video, we're gonna be diving into the world of spyware to explore how it can infiltrate your iPhone. And I'll also be giving you a little bit of a user-friendly guide on how to detect and remove these digital threats. But before we get into that, it's important to note that one of the most effective and efficient ways to deal with spyware or any piece of malware is to install a reliable antivirus. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend along with some discounts in the description down below. So make sure to check them out. All right, let's kick this off by actually understanding what spyware is all about. Basically speaking, spyware is a type of malicious software designed to secretly observe and gather information about your activities without your knowledge or consent. This information can range from keystrokes and passwords to browsing history and even location data. The motives behind spyware can vary, including data theft, corporate espionage, or even personal vendettas. So how does spyware actually get into your device? Well, spyware can find its way onto your iPhone through a lot of entry points, which makes understanding these vulnerabilities quite important for improving your device's security. For the first entry point, you have malicious apps. Spyware usually disguises itself as seemingly harmless applications that you might unknowingly download from unofficial sources or unreliable third-party app stores. So to avoid this, stick to downloading apps from the official app store, where Apple continuously vets applications for security. Then you have phishing attacks. Now, phishing is a technique where attackers use deceptive emails, messages, or websites to trick you into revealing some sensitive information. Following the same method, spyware can be distributed through these phishing attacks via links or attachments. So it's important to be very careful when clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. And yet another entry point for spyware would be having your device jailbroken. Basically speaking, jailbreaking an iPhone involves removing restrictions put in place by Apple to install unauthorized apps. While this gives you a little bit more control over your own device, it also exposes it to a lot of security risks as it bypasses Apple's app vetting process. And so spyware can easily infiltrate a jailbroken iPhone, making it crucial to avoid this practice for the sake of security. Now, before we get into the signs that point towards your device having potential spyware, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint. Instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. 
All right, so recognizing the signs of a potential spyware infection is undoubtedly the first step in protecting your privacy. So let's take a look at some of these signs. First of all, you have an unusual battery drain. Bioware usually runs in the background and it consumes a significant amount of your device's resources. So if you notice a sudden and unexplained decrease in battery life, it could be that your device is infected by spyware. Another sign would be the increased data usage, and that's because spyware may communicate with remote servers to transfer the gathered information. So monitor your data usage regularly, and if you see a spike without an actual increase in your own activities, it might be a red flag. Slow performance could also be another sign of spyware. And that's because spyware can strain your iPhone's processing capabilities, leading to sluggish performance. If your device starts lagging or freezing unexpectedly, it's worth looking into potential spyware. Other than that, unusual texts or pop-ups could also indicate that your phone is infected with spyware. And that's because some spyware might generate strange text messages or pop-up notifications trying to lead you into downloading even more malware or going to phishing websites. And so if you receive unsolicited messages with unusual content or encounter unexpected pop-ups, it's essential to investigate further. And lastly, you got overheating. Continuous background processes started by spyware can cause your iPhone to overheat regularly. So if your device feels unusually warm, even during light usage, it could be a sign of unwanted activity. Now, in case you suspect there's spyware on your iPhone, you're gonna need to take quick actions to make sure it doesn't get out of control. First of all, start by updating your iOS device and making sure that your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. And that's because Apple regularly releases updates that include security patches to address potential vulnerabilities. To check for updates, go to Settings, then General, and select Software Update. Then you're going to need to review all your installed apps, go through the list of installed apps on your phone, and look for any unfamiliar or suspicious one. If you find an app that you didn't intentionally download, or one with poor reviews and weird permissions, uninstall it immediately. After that, check all your app permissions on your device. Spyware usually needs an extensive list of permissions to access sensitive information. So if you notice an app with unnecessary or invasive permissions, uninstall it and report it to Apple. You're also going to need to reset settings since it can help eliminate any configurations that spyware might have manipulated. Go to settings, select general, then reset and choose reset all settings. Keep in mind that this won't delete your data, but will revert settings like Wi-Fi passwords and wallpapers to their default configurations. Now for the next step, and we talked about this at the beginning of this video, you're going to need to install a reliable security app. And that's because these sorts of apps provide an additional layer of protection by scanning your device for potential threats and offering real-time protection against malicious activities. Other than that, if you suspect a spyware infection, change all your passwords immediately. This includes passwords for your Apple ID, email accounts, and any other sensitive accounts linked to your iPhone. And lastly, if you can't resolve the issue on your own, reach out to Apple support for assistance. They can provide guidance and, if necessary, help you take additional steps to secure your device. And that's basically everything you need to know about spyware and how you can both find and remove it from your device easily. Don't forget that the most effective and efficient method to do that is by installing a reliable antivirus on your iPhone. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews in the description down below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check them out. Also, if you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, as I love interacting with you guys. That will be all for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.